In this video, I'm going to explain if this duplex is a good deal or if it's a money pit. And if you're an investor, especially an out-of-state investor, you better watch the whole thing. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm James Wise. You're watching Holton Wise TV. And as I said at the top of the show, we are going to figure out if this property is a solid investment or if it's actually going to be a money pit, right? Now, on this show, I work with you guys one-on-one, -on -one, right? So if you guys ever want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, send an email to sales at holtonwise.com. Give us your phone number. We'll explain everything to you or more if it's in the show notes below. A guy who's already gone through that process, already done that, my man, Rock. Rock, you are a lobbyist, oil and gas lobbyist out there on the West Coast. You're in California, okay? And you recently ordered... Uh, a 10 pack, right? You want to do 10 properties together. You're trying to build a nice little portfolio out here in Cleveland, okay? And you gave me some criteria uh, about properties you want me to find for you and target for you. But in addition to that, you also sent me this email that you're interested in this property. 3270 DeSoto Avenue, Cleveland Heights, 44118, right? And you said, hey, man, can you analyze this one for me? You know, the, the rents are very strong. I want, I want to see your thoughts on this. Absolutely, man. And uh, I think this is going to be a great learning experience uh, to really give you an understanding of the market, right? One of the reasons you like this property is the rents are strong. The price is $110,000, right? And the rents, they listed them here. We already have two tenants in there, okay? We got a two-bedroom, one-bath unit. That's renting for six fifty. Then a three-bed, one-bath unit. That's renting for eight hundred, right? And at a so what was that? That is fourteen fifty a month in rent. Seventeen thousand four hundred dollars uh, a year of scheduled rent, right? For hundred and ten thousand dollars. Now, looking at that from out-of-state eyes, you're like, shit, man, that's pretty good. Those numbers are great. I like it. I see why you like that property, Brock. But to what's probably your surprise. I actually dislike this property, and I don't want you to move forward on trying to buy it. And I'm going to explain uh, several reasons why. There's a lot going on with this particular property, okay? The first thing I want to point out to you, all right? Status. C, it stands for under contract, okay? What that means is another buyer uh, has put this one under contract. So you actually couldn't even try to buy this uh, if you wanted to. It is no longer available. Uh, and you guys can't actually see it. But in like the, the back end of the MLS where I could see as a broker, uh, it tells me the date. And this actually has been under contract uh, since December 8th, right? So since December 8th, you've been unable to, to buy this property. Today is December 21st. So I want to explain that process to you because I think this is very important, guys. I'm guessing, Rock, you saw that property on Zillow or truly a realtor.com, okay? Zillow, Trulia, Trulia, Realtor.com, those websites, they aggregate data directly from the MLS, which is what that was, right? They often have outdated or just flat-out incorrect information on those websites. So if you want to monitor properties, monitor the Cleveland market, which you absolutely should, find deals that you think are good, send them to me to get my opinions as well as the ones I'm finding for you, you should. But the way you want to do that is you go to HoltonWise.com, you click the Property Search for Sale tab, and then you just scroll on to the bottom here, click here for MLS Access, and then you could pick the type of MLS access you want, right? Seller finance deals, B-class rentals, C-class rentals, the whole shebang, right? I don't have to run through it, but for very low flat fee, like the majority of them are going to be $29.99, right? So if like that particular property, what that would be is that would be under the B-class multifamily properties. That fee is $29.99. One-time fee. You only got to pay me once. I set it all up for you. What that would do for you, Rock, is it's going to give you my direct access. So when a property comes on the market, 
you get an automatic email that moment at the same time all of the real estate agents in our market get it right there's like over 5,000 of us in our MLS okay you get the email immediately if it goes off the market you get the email immediately so you're not spending all this time on Zillow looking at properties analyzing properties sending them to me thinking that they're available for sale but you find out they actually are in the middle uh, of a contract and you can't even put in offers on it right so th the whole thing's a mess guys so if you're trying to to get in this game knowledge is power guys even comps i got comps for you on here too 10 bucks if you just want comps i got the comps right if you guys are trying to invest in real estate whether or not you work with me you need the mls access if you're trying to to make some money in this game and you're just rolling off of zillow and realtor.com it's not going to be good right so that's the first thing i wanted to bring to your attention rock is actually the contracted status of the property the second thing and this isn't something that's been made uh, available in the public notes, right? But this is going to be a disaster, right? Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. With the price point of $110,000, okay? Down here in the public notes, they talk about just a few violations to assume, okay? What that means is you have to assume what's called point of sale violations. I want you to pause this video right now, brother. Click the show notes below. I made a video about point of sale. I want you to watch that, then come back to me, all right? You're back to me. I assume if you're watching me now on this video, you know what the point of sale is, right? Very important you understand the point of sale process if you're going to be investing in the Cleveland market. A lot of these municipalities, specifically this one, Cleveland Heights, have that, right? So you have to assume these point of sale violations. You have to put up escrow. Then you got to pay us to fix them. So you got to pay money into escrow, right? Then you got to spend separate money to have us fix these things. Then when that's done, they'll give you back your first money, right? So it's not just a $110,000 investment. hundred ten k for fourteen fifteen rent, sure, that'd be a good deal. But honestly, I could probably get you that much rent for probably ninety k, right? I could probably get you that much rent for ninety k. So that's already twenty thousand dollars more you got to put into this bad boy. In addition to those point of sale violations, and one of the issues, right? One of the violations on this house is lead based paint problems, right? Apparently, the seller does not have the money uh, to fix this stuff, and he's trying to get a grant or something. Uh, there was like another broker access point that like only real estate agents can see that I actually read that said like the seller's trying to get a grant from somebody to replace the windows due to the lead based paint issues. But the moral of the story is we have lead based paint uh, problems on the house. This is the photo I was looking for. OK, so you see this. See all this peeling paint, right? A lot of times these older homes, OK, any home built before. I think it's 1978, could be 1976, possibly 1971. I don't remember off the top of my head. It's either 71, 76, or 78. May or may not have lead-based paint. And in that year, 71, 76, or 78, the United States of America outlawed lead-based paint, right? Uh, these homes are like 100-year-old homes out here in the Cleveland market. So, like, when you have homes like this with original windows, that is a risk point, right? The old windows, they're opening, they're closing. That's where paint peels. You get lead-based paint that's under layers and layers and layers of the new paint over the last 40, 50, however many years it was, since 76, 71, or 78. I don't know how many years that is. 78, 88, 98, 2008, 42 years, right? So over the last 42 years, people have been painting over stuff uh, with non-lead-based paint, right? But before that, you know, for... Uh, close to 75 years probably, right? Lead-based paint could have been used and that access point creating that dust, that dust that creates a lead-based paint hazard, right? And if that's tested for uh, in, in a lead-based paint is detected, violations are issued. Apparently that's what we have going on here. So uh, there is lead-based paint issues surrounding the windows. And then as you see from the outside of the house, we got peeling paint every which way. So I would assume that would be a problem. What people most commonly do with homes out here in the market is they encapsulate it, right? So what that, that's a fancy way of saying you'd vinyl side the son bitch, right? But this house ain't vinyl sided. So to vinyl side this house, this is a big ass house. I mean, that'd probably be like $10,000. So you got your POS. 
you got what I'm guessing is a lead-based paint hazard, right? That's probably 10K. You got the issue with the windows, and according to the listing agents, the seller doesn't have the money to fix the windows, so he's over there trying to get a grant of some sort to, to install new windows, right? So I wouldn't even touch this deal with a 10-foot pole, man. It's not even often that these houses get cited for these lead-based paint hazards. But when they do, it's just like a never-ending mess, right? So I think, number one, the property's overpriced. I think it would be too much if everything was going perfect. I can get you that kind of rent for around 90 k right? So we're already 20 k above it, number one. Number two, we got the POS to deal with. Number three, we got these lead-based paint issues that this guy may or may not be able to take care of. And number four, it's actually under contract with some other buyer, right? So... The moral of the story is rock this property. Don't even think about this one. Avoid this particular property. Uh, nothing about this one seems smooth and easy. Now, all these issues and hazards and, and BS, shit. If you can pick the property up at a great price, it might be worth dealing with all that. But again, I think it's overpriced by about $20,000 compared to what else I can get you. So for all those reasons, brother, uh, I would just not even think about this one and then i would go to my website and get the direct mls access if you want to keep looking at properties on your own and then sending them to me what you want to do is get that so you have the most updated data available so you're focusing on properties that meet your neighborhood grading criteria number one as per the ultimate guide to grading cleveland neighborhoods that i've drafted if anybody hasn't read that, it's in the show notes below it's also on holtonweiss.com by clicking the tools and resource tab right so you can figure out what you want then you can see the actual inventory you could buy utilizing the real-time mls feeds that i've set up for you guys number one number two uh you just don't have to just deal with just a big hassle like this that's overpriced, right? You can actually see what things are selling for by reviewing the comps. And if you see something is like 20K overpriced, you could probably just kind of brush that one to the side, right? So, Rock, that's what I think you should do. And then as far as some of the other videos in your package, stay tuned. Uh, just give me a little bit of time, brother. It is... December 21st right now I'm probably going to get maybe two maybe three videos out to you by New Year's Day 2021 so stay stay tuned for that and everybody else if you want to work with me in the same way Rock is send an email to sales at holtonwise.com include your phone number we'll hop on the phone talk to you about your wants needs goals budget things of that nature teach you how the process works and uh you'll find yourself on an episode of holton wise tv just like my man rock thanks for watching subscribe to holton wise tv for more financial information education and entertainment <laughs>